G'day Budgies and Widgies and welcome back to the channel. If you've been following this channel for a while, you'll know that I am actually moving into a brand new fish room. The official move is less than one month away and because of that, I've started to really downsize some of the aquariums that I've got and really just focus on the fish that I'm gonna be taking over into that new room. And it's been a while since I gave you an update of it from when you saw it last. At that stage, it was pretty much just all frames and a little bit of insulation. It barely looked like a house. But now we are so close to completion and I wanted to take you there and give you a proper look around. So I say enough talking here, we'll go to the new fish room, have a look at this new space and what I've done with it and then talk to you about some of the plans of aquariums that I've got where I would really appreciate some of your help as well. Widgies, here we are in the brand new fish room. I wasn't able to film like a proper video where you can actually see me walking around the space and where I give you tank measurements and stuff because as you can see, there is just a massive pile of tiles in the fish room. So that really screwed with my plans of filming, but we're just gonna go vlog style, keep it real simple, and uh, you'll notice that things are coming along pretty well. It looks very different to when you last saw it. Um, obviously now the entire space has been painted. This is like the actual uh, wall paint color, and I don't really think I'm gonna go too different from this. I was thinking about making like a single black feature wall, but I feel like this really brightens up the space and to complement it with some, you know, greenery and the tank lights, I think it'll just reflect and be a very nice bright space. But let's do a quick run through. So this is the door to get into the house. This is a purpose built fish room, meaning it's, you know, really factored into everything that a fish room needs. It's not like a garage or a shed that I'm retrofitting. So I've had a really awesome privilege to be able to do this. Anyways, we've got the sink here. That's the, the drain of the sink. This is where the hot and wa cold water comes in uh, and the sink needs to be installed. But uh, I will be having access to hot and cold rainwater. The entire house is on rainwater, which is uh, pretty cool. And uh, moving along, we've got power points everywhere. So there are a total of four dual power points, which gives me access to eight individual outlets. Uh, which is a ton of electricity access, really awesome. Floor drain, which means if I need to hose off the floor or have auto water change drains, I've got access there. That's where I've got another plug point, another plug point over there. We have heating and cooling along with an exhaust in this room. So this entire room is controlled on its own heating zone, uh, meaning if I wanted to heat the room instead of heating every individual tank, I can do that. Um, but along with that, I can also have an exhaust in case it gets really smelly, I'm cleaning out a protein skimmer or I am feeding the fish and I need to get rid of the smell, I can just turn that on and it will send all of the air out. But I've also got a really, really big door. This is a 1.1 meter sliding door, which gives me a ton of access to go in and out of the fish room along with bringing tanks in. Really, really handy. It does obviously take up a lot of wall space, like that's a whole wall where I can't put tanks and same here, I can't really put any tanks along that wall, which means I'm limited to this one and this one here. However, it's a sacrifice that I'm willing to make because that, tons of convenience, auto water changes. This, tons of convenience to just haul things in and out of a fish room. You know how difficult it can be when you're trying to maneuver in a small space. Being able to just open that door and bring a two foot wide tank, super easily, two and a half, three foot wide, the possibilities are somewhat endless, um, so that's really, really good. Right outside the fish room, on that wall there, like not this wall, the wall parallel, like the corner, um, there is a tap, which means if I did need access to outdoor water or if I'm setting up a couple of summer ponds or whatever it might be, I've got access to outdoor water. If I wanted to hook up my RO unit, I could do that. Uh, and then on this side, I don't know what that is. It might be for lights, but don't know what that is. Um, and then we've got another plug point. There we go, that's a pretty quick run through of the fish room. Once the uh, the tiles are out, because it really limits so much space that I've got in this room, uh, I'll do a proper video for you all and you know actually give you a proper rundown of everything. But I'm hoping this will suffice and we'll go back to the current fish room. 
So then we have the brand new fish room. I'm so happy I'm moving into this place because it gives me such an awesome opportunity to start with a clean slate and really utilize all of the features of this brand new purpose-built fish room. I would, however, love to hear your most favorite feature about this new room in the comment section down below because it'd be interesting to see which feature you could definitely have if you were able to restart your fish room again or something that you already have that I'm implementing just now. I'm very curious to hear about that. Now, the biggest dilemma that I've been having um, with this new room is what to fit and how to fit it in place. To make that make a bit more sense, let me uh, start screen sharing my laptop with you. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I've got my trusty Mac with me and on here we've got a collaborative Google Doc that I've made that you can use to make your very own design of my new fish room. Now the link for this will be in the description down below, but let me run through this doc and we'll go through how you can use it yourself. So this is a public doc where you can see my fish room design and make any changes that you think would be cool or things you would like to see me implement in this new fish room. And if you want to make your very own version of this, the best way to do it is just by duplicating this slide that I've made, which will be the second slide in this uh, Google Doc. And then you can shuffle the tanks and all of like those things around. Now, there are certain requirements in this fish room that I'd like to have, purely because some of the stuff have already been locked in. Um, the main one is, or the main couple of things are the door into the house. That's an 80 centimeter by 80 centimeter door. That can't change. The sink to the fish room is also locked in place. That's a 60 centimeter by 50 centimeter sink. The floor drain, that's also locked in place. And the sliding door into the fish room is 110 centimeters long. So that can't be obstructed. The other thing, and there's a couple of other requirements that I would like to have. The first one is a six foot by two and a half foot by three foot uh, tall aquarium. I've already placed the order on that. That's coming and that has to be in the fish room. The position of that though is entirely up to you, but it does have to be here. And also that work desk, which is a four foot by two foot uh, footprint work desk. I'd also prefer to have that in the fish room at that size, purely because I do work from home most of the days and I work from my fish room. So it's just super convenient to be in your fish room whilst you're working. It's kind of why you have a fish room to be in it. So I'd love to have that there. Um, now, how to actually use this uh, Google Doc I'll go into now. Um, now, the slides are already formatted to be a 4 meter by 2.9 meter wide space. So that's basically the dimension of the room. 4 meters long, 2.9 meters wide. And everything is in centimeters. So when you uh, make the aquariums, you can just make the square, the size of the aquarium, to be in uh, centimeter shape or centimeter length. <laughs> um, and I've also just included the feet um, conversion on some of the tanks that I've already put in place, I guess if you operate in feet for the Americans, but for the Australians, centimeters is what we've got. And to make your own slide or how to basically use this, um, just click on the slide that I've already made. Then if you right click, you can go to duplicate slide. This will just give you your very own version of it. Up the top, um, if you want, please do check in your name. Um, I am going to be running a little contest to see which fish room design I like the best or if there is a fish room design that I pick over mine that I'm going to implement into this new fish room. Uh, and the winner for that will uh, receive a little prize. Not entirely sure of what that is currently, but I will make a follow up video to this, seeing all of your submissions and stuff like that to see what I prefer and stuff that I like. Um, so I'll just go over that. But check your name in there. And then it's as simple as really just like moving tanks around or making your own design. To give you a little example or a couple of things that you should do, just ensure that up the top the zoom here isn't fit because like if you zoom in, it sort of locks into a default size and then it just becomes a bit of a pain to navigate. So if you ever accidentally do this, just click on fit and then you'll see the, uh, the slide in full size. Um, and then the other thing is, to see the actual measurements for the convenience, just right click on one of the shapes and then go to format options if this little window doesn't pop up. But basically now you can see the width and the length of each shape and everything like that. So it's just a little bit convenient. Okay, so say you wanted to change some of the tank sizes around or make your very own tank size. The easiest way of going about it is just copy pasting uh, one of the tanks that I've already made. And then over here where you've got the, um, the sizes, you can just make this, say we wanted to make a, a five foot by two foot aquarium, we can just put in 150 centimeters and then, uh, yeah, 60 centimeters there. Boom, there you go, you've got a five foot by two foot aquarium. And then obviously you can just rotate the shapes and stuff like that. 
Um, if you press shift, it should lock into like a, a default slicer. Um, yeah, I'm sure you know how to use this stuff. It's very basic, like paint, PowerPoint, uh, <laughs> PowerPoint uh, usage, but I think it's super cool. It allows you to just play around, change, make your very own designs, and if you've got any questions, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll try and respond to them immediately after this video goes out. But I think it's just a really fun, collaborative way where you can also have some input in the design of my brand new fish room. Now, I'll quickly run through just the ideas of the tanks that I currently have. Now, this six foot by two and a half foot by three foot aquarium is gonna be my primary South American display. So all the fish that you see in the five foot aquarium behind me, my wild Oscars, the Calberry peacock bass, the chocolate cichlid, and also like my assortment of different catfish, are all going into that South American display. I would also love to have freshwater stingrays in there, which is why it's two and a half feet wide. That tank, non-negotiable because I've already bought it. It has to be in this fish room somewhere. The positioning of that, you can decide, but this is where I've put it. Um, this five foot by two and a half foot by two and a half foot aquarium, I would like to have that in the fish room purely because that is gonna be my uh, Australian lungfish and native Australian display. Right next to that is a four foot by two foot aquarium, a classic 120 gallon tank. This one I'm not entirely sure about in terms of what I wanna do with it and if I definitely wanna go for a four by two by two. My primary interest for that tank is to make it a saltwater aquarium, so probably something like a mixed reef. However, I could definitely make that a, uh, an African peacock cichlid aquarium as well. So I'm still tossing and turning between the two. I'd prefer to do the saltwater, but I'd be perfectly fine with a peacock aquarium. If I did do saltwater, I might potentially make it smaller, so something like a three foot saltwater aquarium. And that extra foot of space gives me a whole bunch of space for all the automations, having the auto saltwater water chain system um, and everything like that there. So I just feel like that'd be somewhat easy and then on this side is where we've got the uh, the rack. I definitely would like to have a single racking system in the fish room. The size of that though is something that we can play around with and negotiate on. Um, right now I've got the classic two foot by one foot by one foot tall aquarium. Um, and they are like vertical. Is that what you would call them? Yeah, they're vertically lined up instead of being horizontal. And the idea here is to have a three tier rack. So it'd be a total of three, six, nine uh, two foot aquariums. And that just gives me plenty of space for all my nano fish, breeding, stuff like that. So do definitely want to have a rack. And it's just convenient having it next to the floor drain because I can just hook everything up to the auto water chain system. But I'd totally love to hear your thoughts and input on this because again, we can totally play around with it and uh, the positioning of all of these things is entirely up to you. This is the design I have, I'd love to see what you come up with. But bunches and widgies, that's pretty much where we are right now with the new fish room. I have bought so much new equipment, pretty much equipment wise we are fully finished, it's just a matter of buying the tanks and putting them in place now. So. That's where I'd love to hear your thoughts. And thank you so much for being a part of this journey because without all of your support, I wouldn't have this new fish room and I wouldn't be in the position that I am now with all of my aquarium. So all of this really does come down to the support that you've been giving me and thank you so much for all of that. If you want to see the progress on this and be a part of that little competition I've got, make sure that you do subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. And I'd also love to hear all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. But bodges and widgies, as always, stay happy, stay safe, stay Australian, bodgy out.